Hello and welcome to another Shopmade Tools and Upgrades video. In this video I'm going to talk about my Shopmade welding trolley which I built a few years ago. Unfortunately I built this before I started making YouTube videos so I don't have any video of the build but I may have some still pictures of the build which I can put up on the screen. The yellow welder is my WIA Weldmatic. That's a 200 amp MIG welder and it runs pretty good. I do most jobs with that. It's only set up with quite small wire in it so if I do have any welding that is of quite thick material I use my stick welder. The dimensions are approximately 550 millimeters wide, 1100 millimeters long and 1700 millimeters high. I built the cavity in front here um, larger than my welder. Um, what I did is I looked on YouTube for roughly 200 amp welders and I was looking at the size of those welders. So I sort of got an average of the sizes that they come in and then I build the cavity uh, larger than that size. So if I need to upgrade my welder at some point, Oh, I should have no issue with another welder slotting in that cavity there. And the lower cavity is roughly the same size. It's just a little bit shorter, I guess, with this uh, bar along the top here. But the welder does sit down lower in that bottom cavity. So I should get the same size welder in there as well. The frame here is made up of 40 by 60 millimeter box section. Or rectangle section uh, it's around about two and a half millimeters thick and that goes all around the base here and also this uh, pillar that goes right up the side here is the same size steel in the front here I have 40 by 40 millimeter box section and for the shelf this is 40 by 40 angle iron uh, on the side here and some 25 by 25 angle iron on the front so that gives me a little bit more room in here um, to get the, the welder in and out. All of the wheels are these swivel wheels and they all have brakes so it's quite useful around the workshop here especially in a tight spot having you know two swivel wheels and, and two fixed wheels it can be a little bit problematic because you're trying to get round corners and stuff and it's a bit hard but all of the wheels swivel so that makes it a lot more flexible to move around and they all have these brakes on here as well so you know if I need to take the welder outside on the driveway and it's on a bit of a slope I can engage all the brakes and that's useful to stop it rolling down onto the street. I don't know if you can see it in the video but the base uh, down the bottom here and also up here where the welder's sitting is some of that steel with holes in it. I, I, I think they call it pegboard, you know, the wooden style, but um, this is steel, so it's got all these holes in it. And that was just a bit of leftover shelving that I cut up and fitted in here. And the idea was that the dust and stuff wouldn't all cake up on the bottom of the shelf because there's holes there, it should fall through. But yeah, there's a lot of dust that still builds up there, but probably not as bad as if the holes were not there. At the front here, we have a nice sturdy handle. That's always useful for pushing the trolley around. Uh, there's a couple of these pieces here that I made up, and that's to put the, the MIG gun in there. When you're using it, you can just drop it back in there and... Um, take it out if you need it. Uh, otherwise I just hang it up around that wire spool there. This 40 by 40 box section here, um, I just wanted to give it some aesthetic so I sort of, instead of bending it here, I cut the pieces out and then uh, bent them sort of um, with, not, not round but sort of flat. So that gives it a bit of character in the front there. Um, I'll see if I can find a still image to put up on the screen to show you how I did that. 
Uh, but there are sort of formulas for that, and I think I went on to Google and searched out how to do that to get the, the right angles and stuff. And at the top here we have uh, some drawers. So I did not make these. These I got uh, from a garage sale. But basically, um, it's nothing in the top one. This one here is all my MIG tips and MIG gear. And below that I have uh, plasma cutting tips and gear there. So there is plenty of storage for those bits and bobs. At the top here, this is where I saw the welding mask and there's gloves and other bits and pieces in there as well. So there's plenty of storage. As mentioned, I made this piece up to hang the gun on. Also made up a cable spool at the back here as well, uh, just to put your wound up cables and fit on there. And both of these uh, parts also on the other side identical as well. So plenty of room to wrap up your cables and that type of thing. On the side here, there's a couple of bars. And these bars here are mainly for hanging off clamps or things like that. These C clamps or G clamps, depending where you are in the world, um, they're quite flat here. So I do notice that if I do move the weld around or the trolley around a bit, sometimes these do slide off. So there might be a, a better design for that, I'm, I'm not too sure. But for the most part, they do stay on there. Here we are at the back of the welder. I'll show this in two parts because I can't get it all in one shot here. But basically I've put a ring in the bottom here and that's where the argon bottle or whatever gas you use uh, would fit in there. And I've sized it up for a decent sized bottle when I get round to, to getting a bottle of gas. And this is the upper portion. So again, I have a, a cutout in here and there's some bolt holes in the end here. So when I do put a bottle in, I'll be able to put a bracket and screw it on the end to hold the bottle in there. These tubes are just plastic plumbing pipe and they have some fittings um, where they have caps and these caps can be taken off. So this is where you'd put all your welding rods and that type of stuff in there. And they all fit through the steel frame and the steel frame down the bottom here. I've made a couple of holes in the back here. Um, I have my plasma cutter sitting up in the top. Um, it doesn't actually work at the moment. So if I do get another one that sits up here, I'll be able to, um, you know, put the piping or the power or whatever I need to come through these holes. So there's, uh, you know, cutaways for that type of thing. There's more storage on the back here. This is a steel plate, so my right angle magnets are here. Um, there's a bar at the top here. Again, that can be useful for putting things like locking pliers and stuff like that can hang off the top here. And this is the other side, which is pretty much identical to the side that we've already seen. You've got some bars along the side here to hang items off if you need it. There's these wire spool holders so they can be used for hanging all the wires up like I've done here. This is my plasma cutter as I said it doesn't work. Unfortunately I bought it about three years ago I cut one piece of 10 millimeter plate with it and I hadn't used it for three years. And when I come to use it in one of my projects, it didn't work. So I've spent quite a bit of time troubleshooting, but I haven't been able to get it going. So it looks like I might need to buy another plasma cutter. There's a little bit of um, storage in the back here as well. I have some um, arc welding rods down the bottom and there's some more gloves and all sorts of things in there. These other hooks on the side here are useful for your chipping hammers or anything else that you need to hang off the welding trolley. So that is pretty much it. I mean, it's kind of like a normal welding trolley. Uh, like many of my projects, I did go and research on YouTube, you know, a whole bunch of welding trolleys and I tried to pick out the features that I thought that I'd use and put it on this one. 
like these tubes at the front here for holding your MIG gun, uh, these hooks for holding your chipping hammers, etc. And these um, fixtures here for wrapping up your wires. In terms of stability, this is quite a stable trolley, so, you know, it does look kind of high. Although I do have the welder down at this level, it's not up at this higher level, so most of the weight is around about here. And I mean, I could put that down lower if I wanted to put it down lower. I just wanted to protect the, the MIG gun where it comes out the front here, instead of, you know, walking into it and banging it with my feet. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any plans for this, but look, if anyone has any questions or needs to know any sizes or anything like that, you know, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help out. If you did find this video useful, give us a like. And if you do like my videos, uh, please subscribe and click on that bell if you want to be notified when I make more videos. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.